It's been a long time since we've done this. How are you going to tell your story? Is it going to be according to the albums like when they came out or according to the highlights of Eraserhead's career? We work a lot on the set that it changes every week. Mm. Every week we got a text and there's a change and it's it gets better. Well, at least for us. So hopefully it's great for everybody. But we're always working. I won't be surprised if next week it's going to be a slightly different set. But we're always working on the set every day. Uh, also, I'd, I'd like to uh, point out that we, we haven't played in a long while together. And we haven't played a lot of these songs ever, even when we were recording them, because they were meant to stay in the album. So a lot of the songs will be a surprise, it will be different for us, will be, um, will be an exercise for us. It will be, um, hopefully, it will be an enjoyment for you guys. I think another thing I'm grateful for right now during the show is the fact that I can sort of be a fan to the music because uh, most of the time we're just dishing it out, you know, uh, working. But uh, Dahil, it's, it, it's been a long time since we've done this. Parang, uh, it, it's good to parang step back and uh, if you can be an audience, diba? like appreciate the lights. So yeah, I'm grateful that I, for the first time I can uh, start enjoying you know, the music and, and be a fan of our music. I'm so happy to audience na mapapanood nila kami live kasi for me hindi na kami mapapanood kami live <laughs> with all this uh, spectacle yung show parang parang wow talaga it's not every day that uh, a lot of people enjoy the music that the ba that a band makes much less this band it just I don't know, it makes it all the more special we've been together for something 30 odd years and we've had um, music appreciators who have grown with us. Some have grown out, some have grown older, have had families. Their kids are listening to our music. Their, some of their kids' kids, grandkids are listening to the music. Uh, we're really grateful. Oh, I'm happy that way because I, I, I have kids who come up and say, hey, I, I like this song. I, I like the bass line you did on that. I like the guitar part on this song. So if that means that our music uh, creates more Filipino fans for OPM, then I'm really happy. We are into deep discussion, and a world tour is one thing that's gonna happen after next, this year. It will be next year. And you know, it's, it's something that we are so proud of. And of course, we wanna showcase the Filipino talents. And he has, it's a, it's a legendary band, and I think a lot of Filipinos abroad can relate to it, and it will be nos nostalgic for them to see them, and it will be a, a way to show Filipino pride, and yes, a world tour is gonna happen. And in fact, this is also, um, we're also going to have a docu, the, the making of the Holy El Bingo, which we plan to have it exhibited in cinema, SM Cinemas, Signal, uh, Smart Giga Play, Amazon, Netflix. So this is, there's a lot of byproducts of this event. And it is to showcase the creativeness and the Filipino talent around the world.